Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort. Very nice. Love the theming.
Yeah, that's a geyser. I think it goes off every 30 minutes or hour or so. You can see the castle, the monorail, contemporary. What a view. So it does have a makeup mirror here, as you can see right here. How do I look? 
and it does, I've never used one of these obviously, but magnifying side as well. Maybe I should start maybe brushing my teeth that way. Um, but it does have a, you know, nice little countertop. I like these little ledges. You can put some things up there as well. Very nice, nice little sinks. Nice storage underneath. Hair dryer included. Toilet paper as well. And it does have like a double barn door system here. Which is nice. It's got like this Native American or totem pole style artwork throughout the whole resort. And as you can see, your H2O Plus products are bolted to the wall as usual. It does have a kind of like a pull down style um, nozzle or shower head, if you want to call it that, as well as an overhead and like rainfall style, which is nice. It does have a sliding glass door, which is good, it doesn't take up much room. Almost broke the other barn door, but that's okay. All right, there's the toilet. Amazing toilet, right? Nobody says it's such an amazing toilet, but it is a nice toilet. It's a nice height looking toilet, not bad. Got a little garbage can here. I do like this little wooden tile touch. That's pretty nice as well. So yeah, not a huge bathroom, but it gets the job done for sure. All right, one cool part that I liked was this right here. It doesn't look like much. It kind of looks like a little, I don't know if it's, it's not geodesic, but like a, a geode or um, like a rock mineral. If you cut a rock in half, check this out when I hit this button right here. That's pretty cool. See, so you can adjust the on off switch, um, make it brighter or lighter. And it's kind of showing up a little funny on the video for sure, but you can see you can brighten it up as well. Super cool, it looks like a rock, right? That's a really cool touch. And just on the opposite side of it, boom, it's on that side as well. That's really cool. It's one of my favorite things about this room so far. But one like nice little touch and unique feature I noticed so far, these little side tables, they're very small, I will say. I don't see why they couldn't come out a little bit more and be double that size, but it's nice just to put your phone on it. It does have a plug underneath, which is nice. Um, but it says cabins this way. That's a cool little touch. Again, pretty much every resort has one of these like reading lights right here, which are really cool. Nice soft headboard. You can control the lighting throughout. I believe these are full size beds. Um, so we do have two fulls. There's no pull down bed in here. But over here in the center, got a little storage, you got a phone, light controls, USB ports. Um, and then you do see a couple of identifiable characters there Chip and Dale. It's a cool touch there. Nice little mirror here. I like it. A lot of storage underneath. You could put your huge luggage underneath it and have no problem. Nice TV as well. Looks like a 55 incher. I like these little lamps here. I didn't notice those. Yeah, that's nice. Some nice little chairs to sit and eat. This little table is nice as well. This does pull out to give you more room. as well very cool the best part though is the view in my opinion you do have a balcony but look at that view you can see the train station over to the left in the distance the monorail track runs right on into the contemporary you can see cinderella's castle right in that area i think yeah in that area here comes a monorail now, speak of the devil. Wow, look at that. So majestic. All right, that's pretty cool. Right? I could just sit here and watch that all night, and I probably will. We'll be able to see the fireworks for sure from here. You can see the Astro Orbiter next to the castle, um, Tron and Space Mountain. 
And of course you can see the contemporary here and Bay Lake Tower right over there. One thing I did notice, this is kind of like the service area, but what an amazing view that you get. And right in this building right here, I need like a pointer, but right there, it says Blazing Oaks Smokehouse. So I'm wondering if that's where they put all the smoke flavor into like the barbecue that they produce. So you can see all the wood lined up right there. Um, I wonder if that's where, that's gotta be where they smoke every, all the meats here at the Wilderness Lodge. So it is real smoke as you can tell, and that is really cool. This water definitely looks like a prime candidate for some gators, but it looks like right here in the center, they're like pumping in some oxygen into the water to maybe filter it out and clear it out. So, but yeah, look, you can't beat this view. Let's go outside and look at it actually. It's kind of, it wasn't noisy out here a little bit because it's a service area. Yeah, what a view. Let's see if we can get another monorail. Here it comes. Here comes another monorail to the contemporary. Three, two, one. There it is. Wow, that's beautiful. See the cabins over there too on the other side of that water. Uh, a cascade cabins. Here is the balcony. Not very big, but it is nice. The dividers. And here's the service area I was talking about. And one thing I forgot to mention, like the other one over here, this one says camp on that little little bitty table with the plug underneath. The other one says cabins. Very, very nice. Has a nice lighting fixture in the center here. And that's basically it. It's it, no frills really, but it's a very nicely done resort room and it gets the job done. It's so close to Magic Kingdom and you know, you come here for the ambiance and the resort style living. We're gonna go to the pool here very shortly. Looks like they have a fun slide and a really great splash pad for the kids. Um, we're gonna be doing that here shortly. And I'll take my GoPro with me, which is what I'm using now, and try to um, film myself going down the slide. But um, what a view, I love this place. We're gonna watch the fireworks here tonight at Wilderness Lodge. I think we're just gonna make it a resort style um, vacation here tonight. So. Uh, stay tuned, and remember, never let anyone sign your checks. So I did grab a map of the Disney's Wilderness Lodge up at the front. And here's kind of like an overview of the services that are provided and some places you can eat as well. So you do have a, the Lobby Concierge, obviously. The Whispering Canyon Cafe is always great. We're going to have breakfast there tomorrow morning. You have the Territory Lounge, um, Artist Point, which I believe the lounge is part of Artist Point. Roaring Fork is kind of like your um, quick serve uh, food court, if you will. Geyser Point Bar and Grill, which we dined at earlier, is the pool bar, and it's just a large um, eating area and drinking area as well. The Mercantile is a great shop, has some really great merchandise, and recreation is one thing you can do here for sure. All right, let's take a look at the map. Like I was saying, we must be right in this building right here. And those cabins you can see across the water. It does have a boat that takes you to Magic Kingdom, which is nice. But as you can see, it's not an overly big resort, but there's a lot to do here. It's also separate from Fort Wilderness Lodge, which is 
also located here as well and it does have a bus system and everything like that so um, here is the overview of Disney's Wilderness Lodge see so here they have the Roaring Fork, Geyser Point Oh,